Do not blind buy this fragrance. I'm telling you, don't do it or you're going to be pissed. So guidance. Oh, guidance. What do you guidance to? Guidance? Mm. Guide me, baby. But be careful. I'm not even going to hold y'all. I feel like I've been lied to about guidance. When you put this on, your girl got scammed. I'm trying to understand what all the buzz is about. I don't see what they see. scrumptious she gonna be cute and then showing up i opened up the package she's cute look at that the packaging right there cute little creamy pink almost like a pinkish nectarine like a pinkish orange flare cute top got a little bedazzlement can you see that on the top i don't know if my camera can zoom in on it has a little rhinestone on the top i'm like okay she's cute she's fancy it's guidance and she's gonna take us on a journey right all right so let's just, before we get into anything, let's just start with the notes. Now, it says the top notes are pear, frankincense, and hazelnut, all right? Heart notes, saffron, which I think I like me some saffron, rose, jasmine, is it sambac, and osmanthus. Now, the base notes are cystus, is that how you pronounce it? Cystus, sandalwood, agalawood. Ambergris and vanilla. Okay, so I don't know. I know the pair. I know look, frankincense. I got that right here. I burn my essential oils. I got frankincense right here. And I also have jasmine. So, we, okay, we know what those smell like. We know what rose smells like. Pear. Okay, I, I like a nice crisp pear, you know, scent. Hazelnut. We know it's going to be nutty. Um, saffron. I love saffron. So, we're going to get into it. But let me just tell you, disclaimer. I wore this yesterday, and I wore it for a complete 24 hours. Fresh out the shower, lotioned up. I just put some um, Cetaphil lotion on. If anybody knows anything about Cetaphil, it's fragrance-free, so I didn't want to mix it with any body lotions or anything like that. I actually used Dove, um, Sensitive Skin uh, Body Wash, so you know I didn't have any fragrance on me whatsoever, just skin, right? Put this on fresh skin, got dressed, and when I'm telling you, I was... I probably did about... Probably like four or five on my skin, four, four or five sprays. And then once I got dressed, I wanted to go over it, on top of it again, or over my clothes with guidance as well, just so I can kind of see how it does performs on my skin and how it performs on my, um, on my clothing. So I went out to dinner and I will say this, your girl didn't get any compliments. And I'm like, <laughs> now I like, I like to smell pretty. I like to smell fruity. I like to smell like, you know, fresh and. But I do wear fragrances for myself because I want to smell pleasant. I like, you know, just a good aroma, a nice aroma in the air. But then I also want some compliments. No one complimented me. I'm talking about the valet, the people at the front door of the restaurant, my girlfriend that I wouldn't have cocktails with, the bartender, the waiter that kept coming back and forth bringing us our food. No one was like, oh, what's that smell? You smell good. So 
I'm, I'm taking issue with that, okay? So let me just give it another, another whip. I'm going to smell it again today. Got my little blotter card. And I'm going to see if anything changes from my experience yesterday. Because I want to give it a fair shot, okay? So smell it. Y'all, it's different, okay? When it's not, no, it's not changing. Okay, so, and let me smell this fragrances right here. Because something is off about this, this fragrance to me. And, no, mm -mm, don't smell that. I know what jasmine smells like. Jasmine is pretty, very potent. And I don't smell the jasmine in here. I smell some type of floral. I'm getting a vinegary note. Um, it's something in here is just rubbing me the wrong way. And I'm shocked because this fragrance right here, I wanted to buy it because everybody else is saying, oh, it's a beautiful scent. It's a wedding scent. It's a, um, this is a classic. It's going to be around forever. And I'm like, you know what? I got to have this. So I did a blind buy. I, I, don't, I don't live anywhere where they would sell this and I can go and just, Go to the counter and say, hey, let me test this out and see if I like it. No, I had to blind buy this. And I, I blind purchased it because the girls, the, the fragrance community was saying, she's that girl. And I wanted to have that girl. So I want to be a part. I don't want to miss out on a movement, right? So I'm upset that my experience, the first 15 minutes, when you put this fragrance on, for me, this is my experience. It just, it reminded me of something vinegary. Um, some like like old bus seats, like something a soft, pedally, um, like a funky stitch. It's crazy, and I hate to. I, I'm trying to be as transparent and as respect as respectable as possible. This fragrance rubbed me the wrong way. Within the first 15 minutes, I went downstairs. My son was like, "What is that smell?" My 14 year old that jumps in out of my videos. And he, I mean, he's, he's like me. He has, our, our olfactory uh, system is crazy. We can pick up on smells anywhere, especially something funky or rancid. It's like, I can smell it right away. I, I'm just sensitive like that, right? And so when I walk past him, he's like, oh, mom, you smell weird. I'm like, okay. And so it's not just me. My husband's like, what is that smell? So let me just, oh. Now, the dry down, and I have some notes right here because I want to make sure that I get this right. When I was wearing it yesterday, I put some notes on my phone because I wanted to make sure y'all understood, you know, y'all can have the full ex my full experience. So it won't, you know, I, I just, I want to keep it real with y'all. So I said I could faintly smell it on my skin 10 hours later, which I could. And I will say this is not a fragrance that you're going to wear to bed. It's, it's a soft scent, but it's strong. It's not pleasant. It's not, it's not going to give me sweet dreams. It doesn't. It, it doesn't do that for me at all. Um, it has longevity there. Um, when it dried down, it was more pleasant than, of course, the first, you know, 15 minutes. But it still wasn't something that I wanted to smell like. So I'm not shocked I didn't get any compliments. I'm not surprised by my son and my husband asking me, what in the hell is that smell? Because it was not a pleasant smell. Um, I'm getting some type of... Y'all ever had somebody pass away in your family? Or somebody just... A senior citizen that you go take care of, you go by, you go see every once in a while. And they, old school folks, they love mothballs. They put them in their closet to make sure they take the stench out of the clothing. You know, so the moth won't get in there. This reminds me of mothballs. It reminds me of old bus seats. This fragrance right here took me to a place. When I was in college, I had roommates, right? We shared a shower. And we would hang, you know, individually, we would hang up our uh, wash rags and our towels on certain um, towel racks, okay? So for about a week or two, I kept going out of the bathroom smelling this stench, right? I'm like, what is that smell? Like, every time I walk in here, is it me? I'm sniffing myself, making sure I'm good. I'm good. I'm like, every time I come in here, I would smell this smell. So maybe the second weekend, I'm like, you know what? I'm sniffing around trying to locate, okay, is it the shower? Maybe the shower curtain got mildew on it. Maybe it's the bath rug. Like, what is it, the wall? I'm sniffing around. I start sniffing. Something told me, sniff the rags. So I'm sniffing each towel bar. 
I sniffed the one behind the door. I remember it was a, it was like the door was like a light blue color. I remember sniffing the door, the towel behind the door. It didn't smell like, you know, much of anything. So I'm sniffing everybody else's rag. Sure enough, it was one rag in the bathroom that smelled like funky, mildewy, like badussy, okay? Like, like coochie, okay? But like not just coochie, like because you had like, you just ain't washed in a while. It was like mild. It was just, it was not pleasant. This brings me back to that place. This is just not, it's something old about this. It's something, and I'll tell you this, the longevity on this, my coat still smells like it. The coat I wore yesterday still smells like this scent, but it's not in a bad way. I will say once it dries down, like the 10, to the 10 hour later guidance by Amwash, it doesn't smell like something I want to smell like. And I want somebody to grab my coat and be like, oh my God, her coat smells good. No, it's just like, oh, she had a fragrance on. it, And it's still on here. So be careful when you put this on. Once you put this on, your skin, it, okay, of course, it's going to last all day. But if you put it on your clothes, any article of clothing or your coat or jacket, anything that you're going to put on, you know, after you spray this, it's going to stay in there. And so now I'm going to be smelling like old bus seats mixed with, Valaya or whatever else I'm trying tomorrow because I want to try a new fragrance tomorrow and I'm not going to be able to get this out Possibly without washing it. So the longevity is there. I'm trying to understand I'm trying to understand what all the buzz is about like I'm, I'm honestly I'm trying to be new to this the fragrance community. I want to um, Be truthful though and I was like, you know what I felt like my experience with this was Bad. Like now I'm understanding why you do not blind buy anything because this was a fail. I mean, it was $265. I almost got the 100 milliliter, 100, 100 milliliter bottle, which would have been, let me see what that would have been. That would have been $360. But y'all, if y'all live anywhere um, at, you know, by a, a fragrance counter or a, a fragrance store that will have this for you to sample before you buy, buy the decant, buy, um, you know, just, just try to sample it before you buy. I like, for my experience, this is not something that you want to just purchase because everybody else is talking about it because my, this is not, mm -mm, not for me. Um, it says EDP floral amber. I do love amber. I love florals. Not as much as I like, like sweet, juicy florals, like fruity florals, not, um, Mm -mm. People were saying this could be a wedding scent. It's it's unique, but it's not something that makes you say, "Oh, you smell good." Like what? You smell different. What does that smell? It's it's kind of like that. It's like, what is it? You smell that? What is that? It's not like, girl, what you? What perfume is that? I got us. I want to. If it smells that good on you, it's going. I know it's going to smell better on me. What what is that? What are you wearing? No one asked what I was wearing, and I I, I understand why. Um, the bottle's pretty. I felt like I missed. I was going to miss out on the movement if I did not get guidance. But I, I was like, because honestly, I was like, okay, guide me. I want to go on this journey. Guide me, baby. I, I, I expected to go on a pleasant journey, but that was not the case. So for me, it's a no. Um, if you have purchased this and you love it, tell me what you. I'm curious to know what would you compare it to. What could I possibly um, pair this with to mix it with to maybe. Get rid of that vinegary. I smell like a vinegary evergreen. What is that? Some vinegary evergreeny type of. Oh, it smells like. Let me spray it again. Let me spray this again. The misters. Love it. I love the mister. The dry down. Yeah, something's just. After about five or six hours, you might be like, oh, okay, I like this. It's still on me. Okay, I smell good all day. Something you could definitely wear to work. But it's just going to be a fragrance. It's going to it's just gonna be like, oh, she walked by. Hmm. That was interesting. But it's not like, girl, you smell like, you smell like that everywhere? Because I want to get to know all that. I want to, I no, I don't think this is it. So, again, that's my review of Amouage Guidance. Um. It's, it's a no for me, but clearly the girls, they like it. Um, some of the guys like it too. But if you have any pairing suggestions, let me know what I can do to maybe, um, cause it's, it's a soft funky. It's weird. It's not like, Ooh, Oh my God. No, it's, it's, it's 
really soft. It's really subtle, but it lasts all day long. I don't want my money to go to waste. That is almost $300 plus, you know, the shipping I paid to get it here. Um, it's a no for me, but tell me if it's a yes for you in the comments and why, what do you like about it? What, um, what notes do you discover? What is it that's giving me that, that mothball smell? I need to know what that is. So you guys, hopefully your experience is different than mine, but please do not blind buy this one because I don't want you to be disappointed. Sample it first. Um, make sure you, I'm going to be doing more of these fragrance reviews. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. We're going to be doing all kinds of reviews, but this is going to be my fragrance portion. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my videos, my content. Leave comments below if you have any suggestions or recommendations. And then always make sure you like so they can boost my um, videos to the algorithm and get your girl some exposure. So until next time, I will see you again. Um, but be careful because the girls, I, I, don't, I don't see what they see. Not on this one, at least. Because this, it's a it's a big fat no for me. I wanted to love it. The packaging, I was like, this is my kind. I know. This is my kind of girl right here. Because look how she look. Cute. Look at that. Cute. Look at the bottle. Cuter. That pretty pale pink color. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. Pretty pale pink. Got the rhinestone on top. Just a little kiss on top for you. I knew this was going to be. I'm like, you know what? They going hard. They going hard with the influencers on the guidance. So I know. I know this is a, a 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. I know. I, I, I can blind buy this because I know she's going to be that girl. Because they said so. They all said so. I haven't seen one. When I tell you I have not seen one bad review on this fragrance right here. So I spent my money. And I spent over three hundred dollars on this fragrance. What am I gonna do? Y'all don't be out here just blind buying anything for real. <laughs> Y'all, it says a spell binding and novel interpretation of the Amouage Triad of Rose frankincense and ambergris guidance reads like a poem smells like an embrace and feels like a word of wisdom yeah from somebody in a nursing home because this joint smell like old 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 people straight up smell like old people like i'm talking about Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. I'm talking about grandma, like, in the tutu. Like, like, come on in the room. Come on in the room. This smells so bad. This smells, this smells, <clears throat> that's all I got, so, and it's only my experience, experience, it might not be the same experience for you, so, try it, sample it first, don't blind buy it, go by the counter, get a sample, get you a blotter card, walk around with it, put it on your wrist. Walk around the store, go shopping, go to the shoe department, go over there, you know, go upstairs and look at the coats. Go to the men's department, see if you can get some for your boo. Walk around with this on as long as you can. Give it time because it definitely needs time to dry down and then it turns into something a little less funkier. A little less funkier. Mm. Give it time. If you if you one of those people that want a fragrance that smell good right off the bat, I'm spraying it on. I know I'm I'm knowing that girl instantly. This this fragrance as soon as I put it on makes me feel like that chick. This ain't it. I said what I said. I'm sorry. This is my experience. It may not be yours. Hey family, what's up? It's Maria. I felt the need to add this to the video in regards to um, my personal take on Amouage's guidance. Now. 
when it comes to this fragrance, and I'm hearing a lot of people say, you know, be careful with niche fragrances. Don't buy, blind buy them because some of them can be very unique. Um, that is exactly what this fragrance, in my opinion, is. Very unique, but it's not a unique in a good way. And I noticed, um, like I had the coat on that I put, oh God, this coat, this, the, the fragrance will not come out of this coat that I have on right here. Um, I wear this coat every day. And it's just like, when you smell it, it's so strong, you smell it and you're like, what's that smell? But it's not like a, oh, what is that smell? It's just like, what is that smell? And I don't necessarily, like when people are on um, reviewing it and they're saying, oh, this is a, it'll be a perfect wedding scent, a wedding fragrance. I personally would not want to smell like that or, or like this on my wedding day. I want to smell like, I want somebody to be like, you know, I want to smell beautiful. I want to smell definitely different because you don't want to show up on your wedding day if you can afford to. You don't want to show up on your wedding day in a popular fragrance that everybody else in the audience, you know, or in the wedding party might be wearing. I, I, you want to smell unique, but I think you want to smell beautiful. You want to smell timeless. You want to smell classy. And for me, guidance is not, I would not recommend it as a wedding day scent. Um, case in point, you know, fragrances bring back scents, bring back certain memories for people. So if someone did smell me my wedding day and I was like, shh, shh, like sprayed all the way down, had whatever fragrance on just dripping in it on my wedding day, because wedding days are a pretty long day for most cultures. You're going to be there. You're going to do the, the pre-party, the reception, the actual ceremony. You know, you're going to be partying all night long. Um, I would want that memory of someone, if they smell the fragrance that I happen to wear my wedding day, I would want them to be, you know, when they come across the fragrance again in the future, I would want them to say, oh my God, that was that fragrance that Maria was wearing on her wedding day. It was so beautiful, it was such a beautiful scent. I don't think guidance is gonna give that to you. It's just, and, and one thing I did notice too, on the blotter card, when I kept smelling the fragrance the next day, when you just take a, 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 a quick little whiff, it smells good. But if you draw, any smokers out there, you draw it like you, it's just a something funky in it that I cannot put my finger on. I don't know which one of those notes is doing that, but it's making it like a stench, like really funky. So I just want to come in here and clarify. For me, I'm wash guidance as a no. For the price point, I don't want a fragrance that I have to wait till the next day for it to smell good. Okay, I'll give you 10, 15 minutes on the dry down. The opening might be strong. The opening might, the opening was all right. It, it, no, the opening was not all right. No, no, no. It was It was just, it's very unique. It's different, but for me, and not a, not a good way. And for the price point, I don't want to have to mix and match my fragrance. I want it to be great on its own. I want it to stand on itself, um, by itself, on its own, not feeling like I have to mix it with someone to even tolerate it. That's what it's feeling like for me. Um, it's a no for me. Please do not blind buy this fragrance. Um... And then, you know, maybe it is warm. It's, excuse me, I, I understand that the fragrance was, it came out in the spring. So it is cooler here now. It's like, um, I'm, what is it on my car? It's 46 degrees here. It's pretty cold. You see, I got my little beanie on. So it's colder here. Um, so maybe it's, it's the fact that I'm, I'm experiencing it in the, in the winter time. But for me, it's a no for the blind buy. It's a no for the cost. The packaging was beautiful. That blush colored bottle it, it looks beautiful the um the print on the packaging looks beautiful but as far as the scent i cannot i cannot get with this so um the ones that y'all do love it and y'all do like guidance y'all do like i'm watching this fragrance maybe i have to try they said something like try um possibilities or something like that so i got to get my hands on some more of their fragrances but guidance for me is a no for the price point it's a no do a no for blind buying a no for wedding day scents for me it's just something funky in it and um, be careful because if you wear it on your wedding day, right? This fragrance is going to give you, it's going to last. It's going to give you 10 plus hours. The staying power is there. So you can't think, okay, I'm going to wear it my wedding day. But at night when it's time to get the romance going, I'm going I'm to I'm shower and I put something different on. If you put it on your skin, that might not be the case because it's not going to wash off. I mean, that fragrance is, I don't, maybe the oil's in it, it's, not, it's going to last. So be careful. For me, it's, it's not a 10 out of 10. I do not highly recommend. Make sure you sample it if you can. Um, the price point, I mean, you paying $300, $400 for a bottle of perfume, you want to love it. And for me, I did not love it. Just wanted to add my two cents back in there. Just so I can get a, hope you get a better understanding of what I'm saying. All right, back to the video. Until next time. I know. I can't.
Can you focus on?